everybody, Aficionados Chris here, and welcome to the first video of Star Wars Week. Unlike most week-long series where I do a video every week, this time it's just going to be one video every other day of the week. So Monday today, Wednesday, and Friday, and I think a lot of you can figure that Friday we'll be talking about, of course, the brand new film, The Force Awakens. But today we're going to focus on something that's a little more familiar territory for me, a Blu-ray. And a Blu-ray specifically for a brand new TV show based on the Star Wars property that, as I recall, has been getting a lot of praise and uh, is... For the same team from another CGI uh, TV series, Star Wars The Clone Wars, which I have yet to see, uh, just to set that aside, today we're going to be taking a look at the first season on Blu-ray of Star Wars Rebels. Now, like I said, I have not seen the CGI Clone Wars. In fact, the only Clone Wars TV series I've ever seen was the uh, original 2D animated one by Gendi Tartakovsky uh, of Samurai Jack and Dexter's Laboratory and... Uh, uh, obviously right now of Hotel Transylvania fame. Uh, that was a very good show. In fact, if I was to be so bold, I'd say it was one of the best things to ever come out of the prequel era of the films. Uh, but with Star Wars Rebels, I heard a lot of great things. And in fact, this copy was actually gifted to me by a very good friend of mine, Noah Villaverde of Green Arc Reviews. Uh, go check out his channel. It's actually going to be in the description. Uh, he told me it was a great show that I needed to check it out. So he sent me over the Blu-ray to watch. I was watching it with my brother, who is a uh, also, well, really, an understatement would be he's a diehard Star Wars fan. So we watched this together. It's fantastic. Like, again, I have no fair reference from Clone Wars, so I don't know if people like this more or less than Clone Wars, but just as a series on its own, I really like this show. I love the style, I love the characters, and most importantly, I love the Star Wars atmosphere of it. I love that it still feels like Star Wars. You know, it doesn't feel like an, it, no pun intended, it doesn't feel alien. It doesn't have like Star Wars-esque things in it. It feels like true Star Wars. Maybe I'm praising it too much, I don't know, but this is what I thought upon watching it. And really anything with Steve Bloom as a main character has my vote anyway. Uh, but I have really enjoyed the show and of course, as you'd figure, considering it's a brand new show uh, made for HD presentation, the picture and audio quality is absolutely fantastic for that but uh other than that the big thing about this release outside of having the whole show uh on a physical based format to own on home video is a lot of the extra content that comes with it and the ones that they have included uh which by the way this is a disney release so uh, you can actually use uh the digital code that i believe it has uh yeah it does actually supply disney movie rewards so if you're someone who collects those uh, this actually does qualify uh, but the bonus features we have here are the Blu-ray exclusive Rebels Infiltrate Star Wars Celebration, which is you, the viewer, uh, a virtual ticket to a Rebels event in the Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, California. That seems like interesting timing that I'm talking about that because I believe they just opened up a couple attractions at Disneyland for Star Wars in, in Anaheim. We also have Star Wars Rebels, The Ultimate Guide, the Rebels Season 2 A Look Ahead, which I guess is a little dated because Season 2 is actually airing right now, which I have not watched yet, so uh, hopefully there's no spoilers in the comments, but I will be checking out Season to uh, relatively soon, uh, as well as a Rebels retcon, 14 fun, insightful, behind-the-scenes journeys archived as a five-minute companion piece to episodes from Season 1, A Machine and the Ghost, which is an art attack, and Entanglement, property of Ezra. So really, it's mostly like uh, featurettes and such, but there's some pretty solid bonus features. I feel like maybe there could have been a little more, uh, personally for me, because I love a lot of the voice acting in this show. I would have liked to have uh, had like, you know, a uh, featurette just on the voice acting and the acting on the show because like I remember a clip they did about Billy D. Williams coming on the show and how a lot of the actors and crew were really excited to have him come on and reprise his role as Lando Calrissian. And that's another thing is that uh, the show has a lot of really good fan service in it. I remember the episode where uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 were introduced and the way they put them into the show is just so just so fan service but I love it so much and it's a really great show. I I mean, I keep saying that, but I can't deny it. I really enjoy the show, and I think it's, uh, right now, as far as, because uh, so many people had worries when Disney first bought Star Wars, and this was, uh, I believe because they actually canceled Clone Wars to produce this show, if I remember this correctly. A lot of people were a little upset that Clone Wars got canceled in favor of this. Uh, I don't really see too much of a problem. Like, again, I haven't seen Clone Wars, but so far, this has been a great show, and if they had to, you know, stop a few, you know, stop the presses to uh, get this one off the ground... Perhaps it was good, but hey, this is coming from someone who hasn't seen the show, which uh, I guess I should check out, considering all the seasons are on Netflix right now, so uh, now it seems like a better time than ever to start checking out that television series. But overall, I would recommend Star Wars Rebels to all the Star Wars fans, uh, people who liked Clone Wars. Uh, but yes, yeah, Star Wars Rebels is a show I highly recommend to both Star Wars fans and non-Star Wars fans. In fact, I'm sure a lot of 7- uh, to 10-year-olds are watching this show right now on uh, Disney XD and getting their Star Wars fill, or at least getting their... Uh, 
introduction to Star Wars this way, which I'm perfectly fine with. I think this is a, a good way to get uh, some youngins, uh, or younglings, I guess I should say, into Star Wars. So that's really all I have to say about Star Wars Rebels Season 1 on Blu-ray. Highly recommend this release. Highly recommend you check out the show. And please stay tuned for more videos on Star Wars Week here on the Aficionados Chris YouTube channel. And there's, there goes a TIE Fighter. <laughs> so I'll see you all later. Hope you have a wonderful day. And goodbye, or really I should say, and may the Force be with you. I can't get this open. Allow me to help you, young one. May the fries be with you. Star Wars Episode 3 toys are now at Burger King. There are 31 different toys you can collect. You can wind up General Grievous, race around with the Millennium Falcon, or make Yoda do a backflip. There's one in every kid's meal only at Burger King.